What I like best about the Terry and Jesse show is that it revives my hope in men to be godly men. It's a really good show because it's relatable to family life, daily life. It's encouraging. It's like cheerleading also for Catholics. But number one, the reason I like it because you guys aren't afraid to speak the truth. You are both the most compassionate hosts I've ever heard. And as a Jewish convert, I am a much better informed Catholic. Thank you, Terry and Jeffy. I just think it's the best thing that we have here in L.A. It's awesome. I'm hooked. This is the Terry and Jesse Show. We invite you to this holy hour of power. This is not low-energy Catholic radio. We're two Catholics with a Ph.D. in common sense. Our program is not right versus left. It is right versus wrong. And this is Catholicism for the blue-collar man. Today, we're going to have Catholicism and culture intersect. We have, in my opinion, the most exciting interview that Terry Barber and Jesse Romero have ever done on Catholic radio on all the years that we've been on radio. The man that we're about to interview, I'll be honest with you, he's a personal inspiration to Terry Barber and myself, Jesse Romero. We're about to interview a Coptic priest by the name of Father Zachariah Botros. Okay? Al-Qaeda has called him one of the most wanted infidels in the world, and they've issued a $60 million bounty on his head. Father Botros, in a popular Arab magazine, they've called him Islam's public enemy number one. Father Botros, he hosts a television program. It's called Truth Talk on live TV, and he has two websites. One is called IslamChristianity.net and FatherZachariah.com. He was also recently awarded the Daniel of the Year Award, and his show was on twice a week on www.alfadytv.tv. Now, this priest came to my attention many years ago. I had a friend of mine named Daniel Ali, who was a convert from, from Iraq to the Catholic faith. He told me about... Seven, eight years ago, Jesse, you have to get a hold of this priest, Father Zachariah Botros. He's the best evangelist on planet Earth, especially to Islam. He will teach you how to evangelize. So about seven or eight years ago, I went on YouTube, and I started looking up Father Zachariah Botros, and I'm seeing him preach on the Internet. I'm saying, wow, (laughs) God, I hope I can meet this priest one day. I hope I can meet him. So I'm telling my wife about him. I'm telling my radio partner, Terry Barber. I said, Terry, you've got to go to the Internet and... And watch this priest, the way he evangelizes Muslims. So my partner, Terry Barber, he went on YouTube and he started looking at Father Zachariah. He goes, Jess, this guy's the real thing. And then Terry, take it away from there. Uh, it's an amazing story, folks. After that, I tried to contact him. I wasn't able to. So, you know, my involvement with Lighthouse, I train Lighthouse reps all over the country. So I'm on an airplane getting on L.A. An LA uh, excuse me. I'm on an airplane trip to on uh, not LA to uh, Toronto Canada and lo and behold I'm waiting a you know international flight and I see that there's a Coptic priest waiting where I'm waiting and I'm not the shyest guy so I went up to him and I said excuse me father are you a uh, are you a Coptic priest he says yes I said well do you happen to know of a priest by the name of father Zachariah Botros and he says yes and I said well I've been trying to contact him can you help me do that he said absolutely I'm him well, I about fell over. I went down, and I said, you've got to be kidding me. And so the conversation went. He read my book, How to Share Your Faith with Anyone. We connected on evangelization and our love for Jesus. He invited both Jesse and myself to go on television with him. We asked him to come on the radio with us. And that's how I met him. And you know what, folks? I'm giving away a couple CDs today that are going to blow you away. One, a Muslim converts back to Catholicism. A Hispanic woman, Melissa, was in my studio telling her story of how she was a Muslim for some time and then came out of that. Beautiful testimony. And then Father Zachariah's interview also, Defying Death. I've got some CDs by him. So I want to give those away if you call 877 526-2151. Five two six two one five one, and at this time, I want to invite Father on the air and say, "Welcome, Father Zachariah Botros. Welcome to the Terry and Jesse Show." Thank you so much. Welcome, Father. God Father, you. God bless you. God bless you is right. F- 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 Abuna yes. Botros. Abuna, I guess, means uh, Father in Hebrew, correct? Ah. Ab- Abuna Botros, correct? I just learned something. Yeah. 
Uh, Abuna Botros or Father Botros, how long have you been a Coptic Egyptian priest? About 55 years. Wow. 1959. Wow. God bless you. And I'm, thank you for your Praise priesthood, Father, and thank you for your service of sharing Christ to, have a, to all of us. See, Father, where did the Holy Family, this is the question I have, where did the Holy Family flee in Egypt when they fled King Herod in order to protect baby Jesus? It's believed that the Holy Family stayed in several areas of Egypt during their time there, including Gafama, Tal Basta, Wadi Natrun, Samanud, uh, Bilbeis, Samalot, Maadi, uh, Al Matariya, and Asut among others. Uh, it is also tradition that the Holy Family visited Coptic Cairo and stayed at the site of San Sergius and the Bachos Church, Abu Sirja, and the place where the church of the Holy Virgin Babylon, El Barad, stands now. At El Matariya, now part of Cairo, there is a, a sea cavo tree and a adjacent chapel uh, that is a 1672 planting, replacing an earlier tree under which Mary was said to have rested. F- Father Botros, uh, or as they say in Hebrew, Abuna Botros, F- Father, do here's a very important question, really, which is the heart of this program. Do since you're an expert on Islam and Christianity, do Muslims believe in Jesus? And when I when I say that, is it the correct Jesus? Because the Holy Bible it talks about another Jesus in Second Corinthians eleven four. So, do Muslims believe in the real Jesus of the New Testament, or do they believe in another Jesus, Father? Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, the Muslims believe in Jesus. They have a high regard for Jesus. They call him Isa, and he is very different from the biblical Jesus. For one, he is not the son of God. He is of their prophet. Secondly, they say he was not crucified. There are many similarities between the true Jesus and the Muslim Isa. The Quran says he was born of a virgin. It also says he did miracles like raising the dead and healing the blind and the leper. It also says he spoke as a baby and that he created a bird. Two miracles that are not in the Bible, but are mentioned in the childhood gospel of Thomas. There are many aspects of the Muslim Jesus that we can use when sharing the gospel with Muslims. They also believe that Isa is without sin. Although Muslims do not believe that Jesus is God, the Quran says that he is the word of God and the spirit of God. This, of course, makes it easy to prove that the Quran, from the Quran, that he is God. Even though Muslims do not believe that he is God. Well said. Father, before my next question, I want to remind all of our listeners, they can now have a free app on their smartphone, whether it's an Apple or Android, where you can get Terry and Jesse's show six days a week, not just on Saturdays. But if you go to your store, your Apple, your um, your app store, and just type in The Terry Jesse Show, we want to keep in touch with you. If you, just, if you enjoy our show once a week, you're going to enjoy it six times a week. Also, I'm giving away a CD by Father Zachariah Boutros from his Defying Death. And I just want to back up my next question I'm going to ask him. But I want everybody to understand, Father grew up in Egypt and um, saw many, many things regarding his faith being uh, persecuted, his brother uh, dying. I mean, there's just amazing stories in his book that, I'm re- that I've am that i read. So we're, I just want people to understand he's been in that uh, situation where many of us in America have not. My next question, oh, before I was going to say, people can get a beautiful CD called A Muslim Converts Back to Her Faith, Her Catholic Faith, Hispanic woman I've interviewed. It's a beautiful testimony. And I think if you have a son or a daughter who's either getting married to a Muslim or you know, courting a Muslim, they should at least hear this story because it's very inspirational. Also, I want to get you Father Zechariah's 
interview with us where he talks about how to share the faith with with uh, Muslims. You can call 877-526-215 when they get those for free. You just pay the shipping. That's all I ask. Father, my next question. Our Lord Jesus Christ spoke about false prophets to come after him in Matthew 24, yeah. 24. Is Muhammad part of that false prophets as far as Christians are concerned? Absolutely. He is the prince of the false prophets. The one who has had the greatest and wildest influence. He fits uh, all the criteria of a false prophet. Jesus said that you will know the false prophet by their fruit. Look at the fruit of Muhammad's life. He married a six-year-old girl. He had 66 wives. He murdered 1,000 Jews what? in one day. He had over 80 violent battles. And he used to steal from the caravan. At one point, he actually bowed and worshipped the three idols, Manat, Elat, and al Uzza, and encouraged the people of Mecca to pray to those idols. Wow. He had regular relations with devils he called jinn. He was a violent and immoral man who said that he did not know anything of life on earth except three things. Women, perfume, and food. Wow. Does this sound like a prophet of God? Not at all. The fruit of his life and his heritage against Jesus Christ show him clearly to be a false prophet. You're listening to the Terry and Jesse I show. I just We've fell got... over. Yeah. <laughs> Terry, get up. Get off the floor. <laughs> Father, you know what? I, I love your moral so, clarity. Yeah, exactly. I, I love, this is what Catholics and Orthodox and all Christians need to hear. We don't need to hear the politically correct pablum that we hear on radio and television. We need to hear the truth because I believe that right now we're living in the 11th hour. Now, you, you said something that I didn't know. I, I uh, wh- where where can somebody find out? I know that he had many wives. You said he had yeah. 66 wives. Where does it say that he has 66 wives in the Quran or the Hadith or, or where's that information? Uh, his, his biography. His ah. biography. Okay. Got it. Okay. Got it. Got it. Thank you. Father, here's another question. So a- as Christians, we believe in faith and reason. We believe that Christianity is a, is a religion of faith and reason. So my question is, do Muslims believe in faith and reason like we Christians do, or do Muslims believe in faith alone or, or the Quran alone? Yeah, Muslims are taught to memorize the Quran, not understand it. If they applied reason, which is what I try to do for them, through my program, they will see that the Quran is full of errors and contradictions. The Quran even says that the proof of its divine origin is that it has no contradictions. But in reality, it's full of contradictions. A Muslim who honestly reads and studies it will see these contradictions. But Muhammad made a very dangerous statement. He said, ask not questions about things which if made plain to you may cause you trouble. So Muslims are afraid to ask questions because they may be called unbelievers and infidels. It is easier to accept all the contradictions rather than ask questions. So, the answer is no. Islam is not a religion of reason. Wow. Before I go to the next question, folks, don't forget, you can get Father Zachariah's story of his conversion and the sense of how he's sharing the gospel with Muslims. I'll give that away today if you call 877-526-215. In addition, I'll give away a young woman I interviewed who was Catholic and became a Muslim and then came back to her faith. An amazing story. You can, you, you, can, you bet. You can get both of them. Just call us at 877-526-215. 
In addition, here in Southern California, people are coming from all over the country to come to our Spiritual Warfare Conference. That's January 15th and 16th at the Sacred Heart Chapel in downtown Covina. Zachary King, a former Satanist and high wizard, is going to be talking about how he came to Christ from being you know, a high wizard in this church of Satan. <clears throat> Jesse Romero will be there talking about scripture and the, and how, how, um, how to stay away from things that are from the devil. Also, Father John Struso, 50 years of priest. He's also going to be talking about, uh, how spiritual warfare. You want to come to this conference, just call 877-526-215. And before I ask that next question, Jesse, add something more, please. Yeah. On this conference, I'm going to be sharing. I got three talks. Bring your Bibles. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you in the New Testament every single passage where Jesus Christ deals with a demon. Every single passage. We're going to look at it with a PowerPoint. So we're going to look at the point of entry and the point of expulsion. So you're going to get a three-hour presentation for myself on the biblical New Testament theology of how Jesus Christ overcame demons. And once again... Uh, I, I think the, 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 the cream of the crop is Zachary King, a former Satanist for 26 years, will be giving four presentations on demonology and spiritual warfare. We've got Father Zachariah Botros right now. Father Zachariah Botros, by, by, by the way, for people that don't know, he's the greatest evangelist in, the, in, in Christianity yep. to Islam. According to Al Jazeera newspaper and television, Father Zachariah Botros, because of his preaching ministry, his fearless preaching ministry, he's converting about 6 million Muslims a year to Christianity. Did, is this microphone on? Exactly. Did you hear what I just said? This priest here, this holy priest, is converting about 6 million uh, Muslims a year to Christianity. Father Zachariah Botros is a pencil in the hands of God, and we're interviewing him today on all things Islamic and Christianity. Absolutely, and we're not taking calls because we want to give Father more time to answer these questions, because I think a lot of people want to see that. You can go to our website, catholicrc.org, if you want the flyer for for the Spiritual Warfare Conference schedule and all that. But let's go right back to the questions. Father Zachariah, do Christians and Muslims worship the same God? Absolutely not. If you look at the so-called beautiful names of Allah, uh-huh. there are 99 of them. One of his beautiful names is Makar, which means a deceiver. In the Quran, chapter 3, verse 54, it says of Allah, he is the greatest of the deceivers. Our God is not a deceiver. Rather, it is Satan. Wow. Who is the deceiver? Mm-hmm. Therefore, Allah of the Muslims is Satan. One of the beautiful names of Allah is also Mislida in Arabic. Al-Mudil. This means that Allah misleads people. Wow. In the Quran, chapter 14, verse 4, mm-hmm. it says that Allah misled these who he wills. Our God does not mislead people, rather it is Satan who misleads people. So it is clear, Allah of Islam is Satan. There are many other attributes of Allah of Islam that prove he is Satan. Well, why don't you really tell us what you think, (laughs) Father? Father, that, that blows me away. Thank you for that answer. Father Botros, let me take this slowly. I, I just fell off my chair, yeah. but I just, I just got back up because <laughs> I, I feel like I'm listening to John the Baptist right now, and I need to hear this because I need to hear the truth. I don't want to hear, again, politically correct college claptrap. Okay, so you said that one of his 99 names of, of Allah is deceiver. You said it's Makar. I wrote that down. You also said that one of his, uh, another one of his 99 names of, of Allah is misleader. How did you pronounce that in Arabic? Uh, m- uh, model. 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 Mobel. Oh, mo- Mobel. Mm-hmm. Mobel. Got it. Okay. Mobel. Okay, Father, that's pretty clear to me. Here, let me ask you another question. Uh, let's. Uh, I, I want to get into more evangelization at this point. By the way, you're listening to the Terry and Jesse show. We're listening to the greatest evangelist to Islam on planet Earth right now. Okay. 
There is no Christian who God is using in a more powerful way than, than to convert Muslims to Christianity than this Coptic priest called Father Zechariah Botros. And by the way, while I've got your attention, I want to invite you to the Terry and Jesse show at sea. Terry and Jesse, we're going to do a conference at sea. It's going to be April 16th to the 23rd from a Saturday to Saturday. It's going to be a seven-day round trip from Los Angeles. We're going to go to all the California mission ports. And we're going to have a chance to have Holy Mass together, daily rosary, daily adoration, confession. Terry and myself are going to be doing a Q&A session every night. And we're going to be giving teachings, or as Terry and me call it, power preaching every single night. This is going to be the opportunity to be with other like-minded Catholics from around the country. So if you want to go to the Terry and Jesse cruise for seven days and hang out with us and have a totally Christian time, go call up Carmen Allard. She's the secretary that's taking care of this. Her number is 805-526-6565. 805-526-6565. Or go to my website, jesseromero.com. On the front page, it says, link, Terry and Jesse Cruz at Sea. Father Botros, got a question. In order for Christians to evangelize Muslims, what are the five truths that Muslims need to be taught? in order to be evangelized. Okay. Yes. Uh, there are five beliefs Muslims have that must be confronted. One is that Muhammad is a prophet. By pointing out his lifestyle and actions, his sexual obsessions, and his murders, we can show he is not a prophet. Second, they believe that the Quran is the unchanging word of Allah from the preserved tablet in heaven. It's easy to prove that it has been changed many times. There were seven Qur'ans in the time of the Khalifa Caliph Osman. He burned six and left one. And even this one has been changed since then. There are many versions of the Qur'an in the world today. I have several of them. Third, is I believe that Jibril, who came to Muhammad, was the angel Gabriel. He was clearly not. We see how Gabriel came to Daniel, the prophet, and to Mary, the mother of Jesus, and to Zachariah, the father of John the Baptist. He was noble and kind. He would say, peace be to you. And come for those he spoke with, but Jibreel of Muhammad was a violent devil who chalked Muhammad almost to the point of killing him. Muhammad believed that the one who came to him was Satan, but his first wife, Khadija, convinced him that it was an angel. Amazing. I think this is the first time many people have heard this, Father, and we appreciate you saying that. <coughs> Folks, he did a series for us called Defying Death, uh, and I'm going to give away his first CD plus another CD on uh, a woman who converted to Islam and then became Catholic back to her, her roots. If you want to get these this material, especially, you know, look at the world today that we're in right now. We do need to evangelize our Muslim friends because they need Christ more than anyone. They need Jesus. So if you want to get that CD, your CDs, call 877-526-2151. When that's 877-526-2151. Or go to our website, catholicrc.org. Father, I asked you to give us five truths on how to evangelize Muslims. So far, I've counted three. You said, number one, the Quran has been changed many times. Number one. Number two, the angel Gabriel that appeared to Muhammad was not the angel Gabriel. That's number two, and you proved that. Number three, uh, you said that... Uh, uh, yeah, the Quran has been changed many times. Oh, yeah. that, that Muhammad was a, was a violent man, and he was also a, a very sexually promiscuous. That's number three. What are the two other truths that Muslims need to be taught? Yeah. Uh, the, the doctrines of Islam doesn't fit a holy God. And the last thing is that their Allah is the Satan, is not the true God. Mm-hmm. Well, Father, I can understand why they have a 
uh, bounty on your head because when you tell people the truth that way, I don't hear too many other people saying yeah. that. And so I want to thank you for your your straightforwardness. We're going to be taking a quick break, but before we do that and ask Father some more questions about how to give yeah. how to how to share Jesus with with uh, Muslims, I just want to encourage our listeners who are listening to go out and share the gospel with Muslims wherever you can. And I think that if you have Father Zachariah's CDs, Defying Death, I think that is going to help you. Also, that conversion story of the Hispanic woman who converted to Islam and then back to her Catholic faith. We need to take hold right now uh, and understand Islam so that we can evangelize them. And Father Zachariah is the best at doing that. So I'm going to encourage you to call 877-526-2151. Or go to our website, catholicrc.org. I also want to mention, for those who just tuned in, the Terry and Jesse show is on an app for telephones. You can actually hear our show at your time. So if this isn't a convenient time, you go to your smartphone and you play the program. You get past programs. We also have Scott Hahn's Answering Common Objections series on the app for free, for free streaming. There's lots of good things on the app. Tell the young people, because we need to reach young people with the gospel, and that's where they get a lot of their information is from these apps. Jesse, comment a little bit more about why we need to reach young people, because you're the best at that. Yep, well, young people, they're not listening much to television. They're listening to the media. They're listening to the radio. They're listening to their iPad, their iPhone. So as Catholics, we need to take our gospel and make it relevant to those young people because they've always got something plugged into their ear. And that's why the Jesse and Terry Show, our programs are now on app. We want to reach young people with the message of Jesus Christ and his love. We'll be right back after a quick break. Hi, this is Terry Barber, and I just want to thank you for supporting Catholic Radio. I've been involved with Catholic Radio since 1985, and we couldn't do it without your financials and your prayer support. You could become a member of our family by joining us the Jesse and Terry Club. That's a bronze level at $25 a month where you get free audio recordings of all the radio shows on a monthly MP3. The silver level is $50 a month. That gives you not only free recordings of all the radio shows and all the giveaways of every show, but 30% of all the items that St. Joseph Communications has. And if you get to be a gold member, we get you free passes to all the conferences, free recordings of the conferences. There's a lot of benefits. That money supports Catholic programming so that we can continue to feed Catholic stations for the future. May God richly bless you. You're listening to Reasons for Faith Live with your hosts, Jesse Romero and Terry Barber. Reasons for Faith Live is a ministry of the Catholic Resource Center a nonprofit apostolate of Catholic evangelization. For more information about the Catholic Resource Center and Reasons for Faith Live and Jesse and Terry's podcast, Cultural Warriors for Christ, visit us on the web at www.catholicrc.org. To join today's broadcast with a question or comment, please call toll-free 888-526-2151. That's 888 888- 526-2151. Or to take advantage of today's free CD offer, please call 877-526-2151. And now, back to the Lord's Gym with Jesse Romero and Terry Barber on today's edition of Reasons for Faith Live. You're listening to the Terry and Jesse Show. We are interviewing... The, the greatest evangelist in Christianity to Islam. He's, he's a Coptic priest by the name of Father Zachariah Botros. In fact, uh, the world of terrorists, they have a $60 million bounty for his life. He's considered public enemy number one by an Arabic newspaper. Why? Because Father Botros has been on television since 2003. He's practically become a household name in the world of Islam. And guess what? Because of this man, he's a pencil in the hands of Almighty God. His ministry, his TV ministry, is converting about 6 million Muslims a year to Christianity. Did you get that? 6 million Muslims 
are converting to Christianity a year because of this holy priest. Father Botros, he estimates that there's at least a thousand Muslims a month that receive Jesus Christ Praise as their Lord and Savior with, with his telephone counselors because he has a network of telephone counselors. About a thousand Muslims call in to pray and ask Jesus to come into their life. And some of them pray with Father Botros live on the air. I've seen it. They pray with him live on the air. And this is surely only the tip of the iceberg because when Father Botros is on television, the phone lines are jammed. There is Muslims that want to call in and they want to find out more about Jesus because of this Man. priest. But there's simply not enough trained counselors to currently handle each call. Father Botros, I want to just tell you, uh, thank you very much for Amen. what you do for the body of Christ. And again, welcome to the Terry and Jesse show. Father, got a question for you. Uh, yeah. I loved your, your last answer was very thorough. And I hope you can give us another thorough answer for this one. So now, sure. what, are, what are the five obstacles that need to be removed from every Muslim in order to evangelize him into Christianity? What obstacles okay. need to be removed? Yes. Uh, there are five things that Muslims are taught that must be corrected. Number one is the belief that the Bible has been corrupted. All Muslims believe the Bible has been corrupted, but this contradicts what the Quran says. Surah 6, verse 115, and Surah 18, verse 27, said that no one can change the word of Allah. Second, Muslims believe that we worship three gods. This mistake must be corrected. We worship one God revealed in three persons, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This can be confirmed to the Muslims by chapter 4, verse 171 in the Quran that says, The Messiah, Jesus, the Son of Mary, was a messenger of Allah, and His word, which He did, directed to Mary, and a spirit from Him. Here we have God, as Father, Word, and Spirit. Third, Muslims believe that Jesus is not divine, but the Quran, as I have mentioned, says that he is the Word of God and the Spirit of God. Was there ever a time when God did not have his Spirit? Was there a time when God did not have his Logos Word, which means his Intellect? Of course not. His word and his spirit are eternal as he is eternal. Fourth, the Muslims ask if Jesus is God, did God die and eat and go to the bathroom? We must clarify that Christ was a man with two natures. Well he had the divine and the human natures mm -hmm existing as one. He was fully man and fully God, and the two natures did not mix or intermingle. Wow. Well said. So yeah. clear, Father. Thank you. And was that, point, was that point number five, Father? I counted four. Number one, all Muslims believe that the Bible has been corrupted. Number two, they believe that we worship three gods. Number three, Muslims believe that Jesus is not divine. Number four, uh, Muslims believe that if Jesus is God, how could he die? And what's the fifth obstacle that prevents them from converting to Christianity? Yeah. Yes, yeah, that's right, yeah. So, okay, oh, those are all, those those are all five. That's okay, it. got it, got, got it. Got it. Father, uh, before we go to the next question, I got to remind everybody yeah. that everybody's participating. Father Zechariah is an evangelist to Islam, no question about it, but we could be instruments, and I'll tell you how, folks. Get his CDs because his CDs will teach you how to share the faith with Muslims. I I've, I've personally have experienced that about free will <clears throat> that he taught me in this series when I'm at a hotel and I met a young woman. So if I can do it, you can do it. Call 877-526-2151 to get his CDs. And I want to give you a Muslim convert back, back to Catholicism, a young Hispanic woman. I interviewed her last month. It was a beautiful testimony. She had some insights that I think can relate to Americans big time. Call 
five two six two one five one. Father Zachariah, why do Muslims worship on Friday instead of Sunday? Uh, in Surah uh, Al Jum'ah, verse nine, it says, "Oh, you who believe, when the call is proclaimed to prayer on Friday, hasten earnestly to the remembrance of Allah and leave off business." That is best for you, if you but knew. This is the, oh, this is the only verse that mentions Friday worship. But there are many verses in the Hadith, including one where Muhammad says he will burn the houses of those who do not come to Friday prayers. Wow. I didn't know that. That's amazing. Father, yeah. Father, uh, Father Zachariah, and uh, back in 1968, uh, yeah. as, as Catholic Christians, we believe that the Mother of God, the Blessed Mother, we, appear, we believe that she appeared in Zaitan, which is the district yeah. of Cairo, Egypt. And in fact, yeah. I think the Christians out there in Zaitan, Egypt, they call her Our Lady of Zaitan. So yes. what was the summary of her message to the people in Cairo, Egypt? The message was peace, prayer, reconciliation. Beautiful. Also, the appearance came at a period of crisis in Egyptian history. And according to this view, served as a beacon of peace and unity to Egyptians of every creed. Yeah. Wow, Fa- Father, I've heard that mu- a lot of Muslims have actually converted as a result of the yes, apparitions in yes. Zaitan, Egypt. Yep. That's true. Yeah. That's right. Yep, We've heard that. Well, wow, folks, if you just tuned in, you're listening to the Terry and Jesse show. We have the honor of having Father Zachariah Boltros here in studio through phones. And he is actually telling us how he's been so successful through the grace of God in sharing the gospel with Muslims. As a matter of fact, if you want to go to his website, fatherzachariah.com, uh, you can watch a lot of YouTube videos, and I think it will really will open you up. But also, I want to give away all of his material uh, just because I think it's important that we Christians have a good understanding of Islam so that we can share the gospel of Christ with them. So if you want to get some material, some CDs, Defying Death series by Father Zachariah, call 877-526-2151. And also... The conversion story of a Muslim converts back to her Catholicism, a young Hispanic woman. An amazing story. It'll knock you off your horse if you hear that one. Call 877-526-2151. Father, my next question is, how does a Muslim go from being a moderate Muslim to a radical Muslim? And I'm asking you that question in lieu of what's been going on this past several years here in America. Uh, One truly knows. What the Quran and the Hadith say, and one doesn't. If one wants to truly follow the teachings of the Quran, they would turn into a terrorist because Islam is more than 100 verses. Encourages terrorism. 100 verses. Against some, against non Muslims. Most Muslims in the West live by Muhammad's early teachings called the Mecca period of his life. Mm. During this time, Islam was weak and small in number. But then he moved to Medina and became powerful with many followers and the nature of Islam changed. And instead of tolerant verses that are always in the Western media, there were the violent jihad verses like chapter 9, Verse 5, which says, And when the sacred months have passed, then kill the pers- poly- politicists wherever you find them, and capture them, and receive them, and sit in wait for them at every place of ambush. Yeah. Also, in chapter 9, verse 29, kill the people of the book who are Christians and Jews, if they do not believe in Allah and the Muhammad hmm. and follow the real religion 
which is Islam. These are two verses only, but there are more and more verses in Quran. I have many uh, episodes about that in my website. Wow. That knocked You're you over. listening to the Terry and Jesse Show. Father, thank you for your moral clarity. I'm going to repeat what Father Zachariah Botros said. Father Zachariah Botros is the greatest evangelist in Christianity to Islam. If you don't know who he is, go on YouTube. He's got a television show twice a week where he preaches to Muslims about the lordship of Jesus Christ, about the, the love of Jesus and the mercy of Jesus, and about the truth of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And he's very effective. You're having over 6 million Muslims a year converting to Christianity because of this fearless <coughs> priest who speaks the truth in charity. Just want to remind the audience that Terry and myself, we've got a spiritual warfare conference coming up January 15th and 16th at the Sacred Heart <coughs> Chapel. It's going to be, uh, if you call up 877-526-2151 to sign up, we've only got a few seats left. We're going to have Zachary King, who was a former Satanist for 26 years, he was actually a high wizard in the Church of Satan for 11 years. He's going to be the, the keynote speaker. He's going to be giving four presentations on Satanism and demonology and how he converted to Catholic Christianity as a result of encountering the Blessed Virgin Mary through the Miraculous Medal. Uh, also, I want to invite you to our Terry and Jesse show at sea. It's April 16th to the 23rd. We'd love to be with you for seven days on a ship on a love boat, on a Catholic love boat, <laughs> where we're going to talk about Jesus Christ Amen. for seven days. Amen. We're going to pray. We're going to receive communion and confession. We're going to have, I'm going to tell you, we're going to have a Christian time for seven days. We're going to be like one big family. If you go to my website, jesseromero.com, the link is right on the front page. It says Terry and Jesse Show at Sea. The phone number's there. The email's there. We want to be with you for seven days from April 16th to the 23rd. I might add also, because we're filling up, those who want to get copies of the talks, just call 877-526-2151. You can pre-order those talks because we're not going to be able to fit everybody in. Folks, I want to thank you. We've got, uh, you're, you're listening to the Terry and Jesse show. We've got Father Zachariah Botros here. As Jesse said, he's the greatest evangelist to Islam. And I'll tell you, our world needs that today. I think our, our government could use Father's evangelization approach to sharing the gospel with the Muslims. Father, my next question is, yes. is this. In the Holy Bible, it says God is love. Does yes. the Quran say Allah is love? Not at all. As I mentioned, there are the so-called 99 beautiful names of Allah. None of them is love. There is deceiver, misleader, the harmful, and many others, but love is not one of them. Yeah. The nature of Allah is completely different from our God, who is love. Wow, thank you. Yes. Father, for us as Christians, as Catholic Christians, Orthodox Coptic Christians, the, the greatest act that God did for us is love. In fact, in the Holy Bible, it says in, in John fifteen thirteen, it says, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man laid down his life for his friends. So in yes. Christianity, the greatest act of love is performed by God himself. And since Jesus is God in the flesh, Jesus is the one who fulfilled his own words on this because he laid down his life for us. So my question is, what is the greatest act of love performed by Allah? Yeah. Good question. Uh, Allah of the Quran is called merciful and compassionate. At the beginning of every surah or chapter. These words are repeated many times in the Quran, and yet the actions of Allah show something else. He is very angry and inconsistent in his actions. He deceives and misleads people. He harms people. The word love is not even in the Quran. For a Muslim, he observes the general blessings of God, as Jesus said, God causes aid to reign on the just and unjust. And see, these are signs of his special grace to the Muslim nation, even though they are found in all countries 
and among all peoples, special graces that Muslims say Allah gave are that he sent Muhammad and the Quran. No more. Wow. This next question I'm going to ask is not a politically correct question, but I'm going to ask it. But before I do that, I want to encourage all of our listeners to get educated on this topic of Islam yes. and how to evangelize Muslims with Christ. Pick up Father Zachariah's CDs or the conversion story of a Hispanic woman who converted to Islam and then went back to being a Catholic by calling 877-526-2151. 877-526-2151 or go online to catholicrc.org. The question I'm going to ask for everybody is not politically correct because of what's happening in our country right now. You'll know what I mean when I ask this question. Father Zachariah, is lying yes. by a Muslim to a non-Muslim acceptable in Islam? Yes. There are three cases in which Muhammad said it was permissible to in battles to bring reconciliation among uh, persons and to your wife. This is in Sahih Muslim from chapter 16, verse 105 of the Quran. It says that a Muslim can lie about his faith if he is in danger. There are several verses that establish the principle of taqiyya, which allows a Muslim to lie to non-Muslims. Again, the greatest of the evils is Allah himself, according to the Quran. Chapter 3, verse 54. Well yes. documented. Yep. You're listening to the Terry and Jesse show. We have Father Zachariah Botros. Father Zachariah is a, he's a Coptic priest, and uh, he's, he's known, according to Al-Qaeda, as one of the most wanted infidels in the world, they've issued a $60 million bounty on his head. He's considered by popular Arabic magazines. They call him Islam's public enemy number one. Father, he's a modern-day John the Baptist. He's the greatest evangelizer that we have in Christianity to Islam. As a result of his television program called Truth Talk on Live TV and his website, fatherzachariah.com, he is converting. He's a pencil in the hand of God. Uh, God is using him as an instrument to convert 6 million Muslims a year to Christianity. And Father Zachariah Botros is giving us his techniques on how to evangelize Muslims, what we should know, what we should study, and how we should approach evangelization with Muslims. <clears throat> Father, this question, I I'm a retired Los Angeles deputy sheriff, so... I have a lot of interest in this question from a law enforcement yeah. perspective, but also from a yeah. Christian perspective, because I've yeah. seen t several television programs <clears throat> that basically says that most of the Muslim converts in the U.S. are coming from our prisons, from federal and state prisons, and they're becoming terrorists and jihadists. So my question to you is this. What motivates a young Muslim man from, let's say, from 18 to 35, say he could be an American or even he could even be a European. What motivates these young men or Muslim men in the Middle East to become jihadists? My question is, can it be, can it be the promise of the 73 virgin wives in paradise? And my second question also, does the Quran, does it also promise that those who enter paradise will have little boys as their servants. Yeah. A young person who becomes a jihadist is driven by a desire to please his Allah. As he believes that th there is only one sure way to go to heaven or al-Jannah, and that is to die in battle in the cause of Allah. He could do all the requirements of Islam, Prayer, pilgrimage to Mecca, fasting, paying alms to the poor, and saying the shahada, and still go to hell. He is never sure he did enough good works to deserve heaven or al Jannah. But if he dies in battle, he will go straight to heaven or al Jannah, to where he has many carnal delights including the virgin, the beautiful virgin, uh, and huriyat, and rivers of wine. 
the Quran also promised those who enter paradise or Jannah, little boys huh. as their servants and also for enjoying sex oh, no. with them. Homosexuality. This is why we Terrible. want to show them that Jesus assures us Amen. of salvation and eternal life yep. because of his death on the cross. One thing, one more thing I want to mention at the end. I love Muslims, to be saved, but I hate the doctrines of Islam. Good distinction. It is satanic yep. religion. Father, okay. I, 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 I'm just blown away by your straightforwardness. I read your book and how you witnessed your brother uh, being martyred right in front of you. And I yes. was so blown away by that. I won't even ask you how it happened. But I do remember when they asked you if you want to be next, your response yes. was, you can't send me anywhere that God isn't. And that inspired me as a young American here to say, look, life is short. Eternity is forever. Preach the truth about the gospel wherever you're at. And, Father, you have done that, and you've inspired Jesse and myself and our listenership. What else would you like to say in these last closing minutes? Uh, again, I love Muslims. I preach them and teach them to know the true way, the way of Jesus Christ, the Savior and Lord, who came and died for us all in order to save us. And behold, he is standing at the door and knock. If anyone hears his voice and opens the door, he will come into him and dine with him. So the door is open now for all people from every nation, especially the Muslims, Amen. to come and be saved. Amen. 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 I pray that God saves all of them to know the truth and have the eternal true life. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Father, thank before, you so before much thank time. you, but Father, before we go, we would like to get your priest, priestly <laughs> blessing, but I want to encourage all you who are listening to don't forget, you can get Father Zachariah's CDs for free. You're just going to pay the shipping by calling 877-526-215. And especially that CD of that Hispanic woman who was Catholic, went to become a Muslim, left Islam became back a Catholic. That's an amazing story. Call 877-526-215. And don't forget the iPhone application for your young people. Get the Terry and Jesse show on your iPhone, and you can do it anytime you want. It's a free app. Father Zachariah, would you give us your priestly blessing and pray for all of the families and people that are listening to this broadcast, please? Sure. The love of God, the Almighty, and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit <coughs> be with you all. Amen. 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 Father, Amen. Son, Spirit. Thank you so much, Father, and may God richly bless you and your family. And you too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. Well, F Terry, we've got to do this again with Father you Zachariah it, Botros. We have away. to do this again. Now, Terry, I'm going to mention why it's so important that everybody know about Islam, yeah. I mean, especially Hispanics. Yeah. There's an article that says in Los Angeles that Hispanics are converting to Islam uh, at a very rapid it's rate. True. Yep. So that worries me, that Hispanics don't know their faith and they're converting to Islam. The second point I'll make is this. It was a Hispanic man who converted to Islam that helped out that couple in San Bernardino he bought the he bought the weapons for them so they can commit the massacres. It was a Hispanic who converted to Islam. So we've got to reach Hispanics big time with the message of the gospel. Last thing tomorrow, I'm going to be at Our Lady of Guadalupe Church at, in Queen Creek. Our Lady of Guadalupe Church. I'm going to be there at 5 p.m. giving a talk in Spanish on Our Lady of Guadalupe. 6:30 p.m. I'll be giving a talk on Our Lady of Guadalupe in English. That's Our Lady of Guadalupe Church, Queen Creek, Arizona from 5 o'clock in Spanish, 6.30 in English on Our Lady of Guadalupe. And that's why I want you to get that Muslim converts back, converts back to Catholicism. She was a Hispanic. 
Please spread the faith. Call 877-526-2151. That's 877-526-2151. See you again next week. God love you.